Brooklyn's finest. Born and raised, Ben Stuyvesant, Bedford Stuyvesant. Shout out to all my cats from up top, New York. All my five boroughs, all my cats getting it in. All my cats in the prison systems, doing hard time, state prison, federal prison. Y'all know who y'all are. I want you to keep your heads up. Some of y'all might know me, some of y'all might not know me, man. But I'm here to get more acquainted with all y'all right now. I want to share a little testimonial with you that maybe will change your life and influence you and motivate you as a person of who you are. Uh, two years ago, I was released from prison. Mind you, I did five and a half years in prison, which wasn't easy. But I'm here to tell you that if I can do it, you can do it. Now, when I got out of prison two years ago, I didn't have much, I didn't have much at all. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you some things as we go along. But through the process of, of, of incarceration, I had time, a lot of time to think get my mind right. So, once I got out, all I had to do was put all the pieces of the puzzle together that I had formulated within a, a certain time of the two years. It wasn't easy. Mind you, I had to have the right people around me and the right things around me in order to get that done. But if you're walking around here with your head down and you know, you, you, you're you afraid of, 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 of stepping out on faith, I'm here to tell you, you have nothing to worry about. You take one step, God will take two steps with you. You understand me? So, bro. Yo, yo, what's going on, OG? What's up, baby, what's up? Man, I can't call it. Just doing a little addition on this documentary. Your man. boy Jay. Your yeah, man. Cool, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, what you know about him, man? How y'all how met? Man, it's a long story, but I'm going to try to make it short for you, man. Uh -huh. I just came home when I met him. Okay, where you from, man? Hey. From BMO. BMO? BMO? Okay, be more careful. Okay. All right, so y'all met him. How y'all met up? Um, I came home one day, man. I just got out. And that, he was that, cutting hair, man. That, 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 I had cut my hair. You know, I told him I ain't had no money right there, but I just got home. Yeah. My brother went on and cut my hair for me, man. Yeah. Ever since then, you know, I was I straight. You. Came yeah. back about three, you four days later, later broke him off. Over? Hey, got me a little job and broke him off. No, no, no. He not got not real not tight, you know. He real cool cat, man. Yeah. From, well, from the bottom, from the top, from the bottom. So, so did you did, did you see the future in him? Did, did you know? Did yeah, well, you know, I seen a lot of things in him, you know. Then one day we got to talk and Kevin told us, damn, man, I want my own thing. Yeah. I told him, go ahead and go get it, you know? Yeah. And a few weeks later, Kevin was coming to me, telling me he had a building. We went and looked at the building. Next day I know it. Not even two, three days, we was inside working on it, getting ready. Kevin came from nothing to something. He yeah. just got out of pay attention. Had a good strive and doing what he had to do. Yeah, so so I know they was telling me you had this some time too. How how much time you did, man? I did 18 years, 17 years, nine months, three days, and two hours, man. Okay. It drug trafficking. Okay. It paid off, and in some way it didn't pay off, you know. Okay. Okay. But, uh, it's all good. Yeah. All right, man. Just wanted to touch up with you, baby boy. We'll catch it's you up good, later, man. man. Y'all get a haircut from Jay, man. He cool. Okay. All right. Peace. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, boy Jay, man. My man, Lee. What's up, Pace? Lee, uh, uh, tell everybody what's your position, man. Who you at in life and uh, who you are. Um, uh, this is Lee Mathis. Right now, my position is sitting down, getting my hair cut by my man, my brother, my barber, my homie. Uh, right now, man, I'm just uh, focused, man. Right now, my life position is focused, period. Uh, I'm doing better and bigger things. Uh, taking care of those three little girls, Jasmine, Lee, and Lanaya, you know, and making sure my family is all right. You know, just focus on what God said he has for me and the things I got to do, you know, to keep things moving. Uh, currently with uh, the biggest corporation in America, the one that's keeping America afloat right now. But uh, I see myself in a couple years, I'll be running one of those stores. Ain't nothing. I'm running it now, you know. My boss just reaping the benefits. Y'all know how that works. So, uh, just working hard, man. Trying to stay humble and uh, 
you stay focused, you know, because the world crazy right now. I'm trying to stay sane. That's about it. So I just asked you uh, a couple of minutes ago, who do you see yourself in two years? Uh, two years, uh, definitely, um, you know, a couple small businesses, man. You know, networking. Uh, you know, hopefully me and you can do some of the things we, we talked about. You know, franchising, uh, your particular empire. Um, you know, investing in other brothers and some other things. Um, I'm definitely uh, uh, really in tune to that real estate thing right now. I see myself, you know, at least owning a couple properties, uh, living in one, you know. I just see myself debt free, man, you know, paying for everything that I own, you know, and not getting into that trap of uh, being strapped down by high finances and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So um, just keeping my mind right, staying focused, working hard, and uh, making sure karma is a sweet young lady, you know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. Okay. Now, two years ago, I believe we met two years ago. Two years ago, yes, sir. And that was that was at another barber shop. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, you know, we talked briefly, shortly, you know, through cuts. Yeah. And we talked about doing some business ventures. Yes, but sir. Yes, sir. I spoke on a particular one that I wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, do you remember some things? Can you tell us some things that you remember uh, experiencing with me? Well, I mean, the first thing I remember, man, is uh, just coming through and, uh, you know, you, you cutting my hair, we kicking it, you know what I'm saying? And I remember the passion, you know what I'm saying? There's a certain passion that you had in your, you know, your eyes about the things you wanted to do. And like you said, at that time, you were working, you were working for another brother who was an entrepreneur, which is a beautiful thing, but you had that ambition and you had a vision. And just talking to you, man, just you speaking it, I saw your vision, and um, and uh, I look up now, man. And you went from working for somebody to employing people, and that's that's just beautiful, man. Within two short years, God has uh, he has he has filled your life, man, with a beautiful blessing, you know. And now I'm sitting in your business. I'm sitting in what you spoke on and what we we uh, you imagined, and that's a beautiful thing, man. Two years ago, uh, you were in transition in your life. I was in transition in my life, and uh, and two years later, man, we 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 in, we transition into better things in life, and uh, this is a beautiful thing, man. So we're, we're truly blessed, man. We just gotta stay focused and keep working hard. You can get you about six of these, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely coming, but I did see your vision, <coughs> man, and uh, it's here. I'm sitting in it. This is a beautiful thing. Okay, so definitely, definitely, I wanna I wanna say thank you for uh, giving me a short message to the people. No doubt, man. I just want to say, man, that uh, God is faithful, man. Even when we crazy and don't understand and we lose our way, because I lost my way, I went the other way. I knew what was right and wrong. But just remember to put God first, work hard, get that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The rest is history. But uh, this is my man, Jay. Y'all should check him, man. Not just because he's a great barber, but when you come across good people, man, they can impart something into your life. And uh, y'all should do that. birthday today too y'all. That's right baby. Happy birthday, <coughs> Happy birthday sir. <laughs> so that briefs it up, that sums it up right there man. Next one.